Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, August 20th, 2018, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a very deep devotional today, and it speaks. It should speak to a lot of people um, who have ministries on the YouTube channel here. And um, there are there is more going on behind the scenes than there is preached with the mouths of those that are working for the Lord. And when I read this, you'll understand. It's called um, The Commission of the Call. And the reading is from Colossians 1.24, and it says, who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake. <clears throat> okay, we make calls out of our own spiritual consecration, but when we get right with God, he brushes all these aside and rivets us with a pain that is terrific to one thing we never dreamed of and for one radiant flashing moment we see what he is after and we say here i am send me this call has nothing to do with personal sanctification but with being made broken bread and poured out wine God can never make us wine if we object to the fingers he used to crush us with. Now, we all know what it feels like to be crushed by our Lord, right? Um, if God would only use his own fingers and make me broken bread and poured out wine in a special way. But when he uses someone whom we dislike or some set of circumstances to which we said we would never submit and makes those the crushes we object. Now, uh, this is what's going on behind the scenes on the YouTube channel here. Okay? Um, there are people out there that come, that have channels that view me and uh, as they're viewing me, I'm getting under their skin so bad. So, so bad am I getting under their skin. And then they come back out with a video and they will repudiate without saying it's for me. Okay? And they will use all their anger and pride and come out and try to just Destroy what I said, okay? And then when they back off and they finish, they feel like they did something good. And then God crushes them. He'll put some videos in front of them that speak the exact words of the person they just tried to crush. And then they'll send another one and he'll send another message and he'll send another message and you won't be able to get away from what that person has said until you come to your knees and you realize that there is truth to it and you will concede under the fingers of the Lord and not realizing that there may be truth to all of it what you're saying when what the other person is saying is absolutely all the truth but there may be something in you prideful that is warring against your brother and sister in christ it says here we must never choose 
the scene of our own martyrdom. If we are ever going to be made into wine, we will have to be crushed. Is this happening to you? Are you being so irritated by someone who, on this YouTube channel who is speaking of the love of God, who is showcasing their relationship to the world so that others who are striving to deepen their relationships can see that this is possible. You cannot drink grapes, okay? You cannot drink the grapes. Grapes become wine only when they have been squeezed. I wonder what kind of finger and thumb God has been using to squeeze you. And you have been like a marble and escaped. You are not ripe yet. And if God had squeezed you, the wine would have been remarkably bitter. Which means... Yeah, if you're not under that thumb of the Lord, then you're not ripe yet to be squeezed. Because the result from being squeezed is more humility, um, more yielding, less pride. To be a sacramental personality means that the elements of the natural life are presented by God as they are broken providentially in his service. We have to be adjusted into God before we can be broken bread in his hands. Keep right with God and let him do what he likes and you will find that he is producing the kind of bread and wine that will benefit his other children. This is a process, people. You know, uh, God um, in the Bible says many times that he triggered, he triggered people with jealousy. He produced jealousy in people. Uh, to go against other people and um, sometimes if you belong to him that jealousy will be used to become so painful to you that you'll have to drop it and turn to God and in other cases it was done like Cain did it to Abel he became jealous and he killed him okay but all of this squeezing is all done to the purpose of God you know um, God has reasons for all these things and um, we need to remain open to being squeezed by our Lord um, because you know the, we can't see all things about ourselves we can't see everything that is motivating us. We can't see all the time. Um, you know, the modus operandi of the human heart. But he can. And um, he'll use whatever he has to use to make the changes in you that need to be made to do his will. And this is a very deep one. I was going to go move to a different one and he sent me back here. So he wanted me to say it. This is for me as well, you know. It's not only me uh, hammering on other people about these types of things, but it's been done to me. Um, that's how I understood it. Because if I didn't live that myself, I wouldn't have been able to explain it. So I hope you enjoyed this one. It was short today. I want to remind you that I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget how much he loves you. Never forget it. Never forget it. He's coming very, very soon. So keep looking up.